video, man. If y'all new to the channel, make sure y'all smash the subscribe button, man. Make sure y'all follow my social media down below. Y'all already know how to go. Now, I'm back, man. And I'm feeling a whole lot better. I might not be looking better, but I'm feeling I'm feeling like a, I'm feeling a whole lot better. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying. But anyway, um, I know y'all see the name of the title, right? No, this is not for no views. This is not for, as y'all see, I don't have ads on it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not putting no ads on video like this. You know what I'm saying? To show my respect. That's how we show res respect on YouTube without putting ads on, on video. You know, on certain videos, put like that. But anyway, man, I didn't want to even talk about the topic, but I got to. You see what I'm saying? Because some of the stuff, man, I've been stressing for the longest now since I've been on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like, hey, I'm going to give y'all my, my, my opinion. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all my, my opinion. Now, me personally, I'm not going to get on camera and be like, oh, man, I've been listening to Nipsey Hussle, man, ever since he came out. <laughs> blah, blah. I'm not going to get on here and do all that. You know what I'm saying? No. I just started listening to Nipsey Hussle a month ago. When, whenever he dropped that song with, uh, with, with uh, Riley Rich, I just wanted to borrow him. No, not, not, not this song, but uh, what, what it is um, when, when, when they was on the goddamn plane. That song with Riley Rich, whatever, how, how, however long ago it was, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that song. So, um, I just want to get that out of the way. Let y'all know. Now, I actually watched Nipsey Hussle, that, that, uh, hit that movie he was in, The Cage Animal. I watched that a long time ago when it first came out. You know what I'm saying? But, me, I'm not like, I don't listen to the West Coast and all that. I don't listen to, you know what I'm saying? Because me, I like ghetto type music. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Labusi, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, South, like, Ratchet shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's type of music I like. Now, when I heard Nipsey Hussle and Roddy Rich song they dropped probably a month ago, a couple weeks ago, man, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with, 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 Nip, with Nipsey Flow. I fell in love with Swag, you know what I'm saying? Like, no humble, but I'm just saying. The nigga, man, I'm telling y'all, bro. The nigga got a gift. You see what I'm saying? And for people, to take that man out like that, man, that's, that shit hurt my feelings, you know what I'm saying? Even even if I ain't know the guy, I ain't, I don't even know Nipsey Hussle like that. I, like I said, I only been uh, listening to Nipsey Hussle for a month now. My favorite song uh, about Nipsey Hussle is, uh, what, what is it, Victory Lap. I love that song and the video. Love it. They took this man out. Well, such and such took this man out. His own community, <laughs> own store, own hood. The hate is real. I be telling, bro, I, I tell y'all. I don't care who you is, I don't care who you think you is. Watch your back. Prime example, me, look at me. I ain't no well, well, well known YouTuber, but I still carry myself as like, and I, when I go out in public, I still carry myself like, I'm famous, you know what I'm saying? I still gotta watch myself. I still gotta watch this person and watch that person, you know what I'm saying? Cause you never know these days. It'll always be the one that you you, you, you know, you see what I'm saying? The guy that, that killed me was a hustle. That nigga disrespectful as shit. How do you how how do you shoot a man six times? Then turn around and kick him in the face. How? I'm just saying. Now they saying that the guy was a, a snitch, right? You know what I'm saying? Nips ain't want to fool with him because he was a snitch. That's understandable. Why would Nipsey Hussle fool with a snitch? Why would anybody fool with a snitch? If Nip, if, if, if Nipsey Hussle would have gave that man a job at one of his stores, man could have easily planted some drugs in there and made it seem like Nipsey Hussle selling drugs at the store. Now, Nipsey Hussle gone profit life. All because he hired a snitch. Trying to be friendly. That's why you can't trust everybody. This guy, I don't watch every single video that they ain't upload so far. This guy, man, double back three times to make sure this man did. Like, he had a real meaning behind what he was doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, he just, like, like, like a clout chaser. You see what I'm saying? Like, it don't get that serious. If y'all was to watch the video, the man shot Nipsey Hussle up close. Him and his friend up close. Nipsey Hussle fell. Nipsey Hussle put both his hands up like, man, look, it ain't that serious. 
If you watch the video, you can you, you can look at Nipsey Hussle's face. Well, you can look at his body junction and be like, he was saying like, it ain't look, bro, it ain't that serious. Just chill, you know what I'm saying? We can talk about this, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, like, chill. The guy ran, came back, shot him again, ran again, came back, shot him again in the head, shot him some more, ran again, came back, then kicked him in the face, then took off. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. And now it, it touched me to my soul, you know what I'm saying? To the point where I actually shed the tears, you know what I'm saying? And me, personally, I cry like at least once a year. Maybe, a, maybe once a year. You see what I'm saying? I, I might even cry, I, I probably don't even cry that year. But I cry at, bro, I shed some real tears, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, like, all because of what this nigga stand for. You got, I don't care, man. If you look at it like this, you got people in your community that ain't doing shit for you. And for a nigga out the streets to stop what he doing, to build basketball courts for your kids and you, put stoves in the hood for y'all, for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Giving random people haircuts for the freebie, for the freebie. Feeding folks. He doing all this in the hood. Trying to stop the violence. Yes, of course they're gonna try to make it seem like it was gang related. <laughs> the world is gang related. White, black, pink, yellow, blue, gold, everybody gang related. Yeah, bro. I don't care what you put on, what color clothes you put on, people gonna label you gang related. I can go put a button down polo shirt on right now. It don't matter what color it is. Oh, he gang related. Why? Because I got a certain color on? Come on, bro. That shit is wet. How they killed Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle. That shit wet. And I asked, I asked, I, bro, I can feel it. Like, it feel like he was some kin to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, like I told you, I'm not just gonna get on camera and be like, oh, I, I've been listening to Nipsey Hussle for the longest, for years. No, I've been listening to Nipsey Hussle for a whole month. And when he passed away, bro, it's like, I felt that. Because what he was doing for, for, for his community, you know what I'm saying? That make people now look at their community and be like, you know what, I ain't doing shit for my community. All because shit like this. All because you tell a person that you don't want to fool with them no more, you know? Well, you don't want to fool with them because of their background, this and that. They get mad and want to take your life. I've been stressing this for the longest now. Been stressing this. Now you got people scared to do something for their community because it's the one that you know that you don't expect to take you out. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just crazy. You got to watch people that are after you and you got to watch the, the people that are close to you at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's the crazy part. You don't know who to trust in the world. Me, personally, if I ever get big on YouTube, bro, I'm telling y'all, I'm sticking with my same day one nigga. Like when I say day one nigga, I mean child on up. You see what I'm saying? I don't fool with everybody. I don't. Anybody tell you I don't fool with everybody. I don't, I don't sit up. When I go back to, to, to the hood, I don't hang out. You don't see me posting nowhere. You don't see me doing none of that. I go to my partner house and I chill. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to ride around. I don't want to do none of that. You know what I'm saying? Because because the people these days, they, 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 they act like you own them something. And me, I don't owe nobody nothing. But you can't tell them that. Oh, what up, bull? What up? You know what I'm saying? I'm out, I'm out, I'm out of there. We ain't finna kick it. What you doing tonight? Now, look, I'm, I'm chilling with my wife tonight. Wife and kid, that's it. I ain't hanging out. I don't even hang out. You know what I'm saying? I don't drink, smoke, no none of that. That's the way you gotta carry yourself these days. Shit crazy, man. I just wanna get on here and vent to y'all, man. Y'all pay close attention, man, to, to who you tell no. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care who it is. If a person asks you something, you tell them no, nah, first time, bro, gotta watch that person. Why? Re remember that person. Remember that person. Like real shit. Shit getting serious out here. Nipsey Hustle death, man, opened up a lot of celebrity eyes. I'm talking about like celebrities you don't you, you don't even realize. Like they eyes, they I'm talking about they they eyes wide the fuck open right now. Like they wondering like, damn, should I even do this? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that fuck up the whole world. That's the crazy part. I feel for Lori Lundy doing Sam because she loved that. She loved that guy, man. 
Everybody in the world love that man, dog. He was doing positivity, like, bro. You don't see Mr. Hustle doing none of this shit out here, and like negative shit out here, man. That man was so on helping his community to the point, man, that he didn't, man. He don't, he don't care. He was, he was, he was that. He, he was like Dr. Martin Luther King and, and Tupac. Like he was in there. You see, you see how you see what Ti doing. Nipsey Hussle, he was one of those. All about his community. Slauson, Crenshaw, the clothing. That man putting it, he put it on the map for y'all. And for people to take this man out like that, bro, that shit sad, that shit weak, that shit a coward. You see, you shoot, you shoot somebody six times, one in the head, five in, in, in the tourist area. You know what I'm saying? Like, then kick him in the face. That shit ass. You don't get no cool points out there. Now, what gonna happen to you? When you get locked up and they find you. Now, if they find you, what gonna happen to you? You gotta ask yourself that. They gonna smoke your ass. <laughs> they gonna smoke you, either rape you for the rest of your goddamn life, or make you commit suicide. You gotta live with that. For each and in, each and individual, everybody in the world, if I even said that right, for everybody in the world, you know what I'm saying? Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people that you used to fool with. Pay attention to the people that you fool with. I don't care if they seem cool, they might like, oh, they're my best, they're my brother, blah, blah, blah. You know how people be making friends, this day they turn around, the next day they're my brother. You see, bro, you don't even know that person. You don't even know that person. Not saying they had with Nipsey Hussle, I'm just saying randomly. You see what I'm saying? To people that think everybody your friend and all that. You see what I'm saying? Nipsey Hussle probably didn't even know the guy. He probably, well, he, I'm pretty sure he's from the area, so he knew the guy. You know what I'm saying? So, but he knew the guy who went right. He was a snitch. So, no, I do not want to associate myself with you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look, may God bless you. Guy came back. Shoot him. Kill him. Some people out here want your position. But don't know how to, <laughs> don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, go with the, the, the position. And don't, don't know what come with the position. Don't even know where it started. Because they ain't educated. They ain't got knowledge. People try to smoke your ass these days all because you got too much knowledge. Nipsey Hussle had a lot of goddamn knowledge. A lot. Y'all know that. That boy had it all. Now, I'm through talking, man, but, um. My uh, prayer go out to Nipsey Hussle, man, Lord London, and they whole family, man. Make sure y'all leave a comment, man. Make sure y'all follow me on my social media. This your boy, Seth, man. And this shit crazy, bro. Like, real shit. This shit crazy, man. I listen to this song, Victory Lap, every single day. I would listen to it every single day before he even got shot or killed or anything, anything of that. You know what I'm saying? Because I like the meaning of the song. I love it. You see what I'm saying? So, man, this shit, bro. It's a crazy, crazy, it's a crazy world out here, dog. I swear to God, yeah, man. I'm out, man. Bitches hit me up on Twitter now. On Twitter now. She used to dub me, I forget her now. Get her now. In my city, I'm the nigger now.